Welcome back to Newsmax Now. I'm Miranda Khan here with a look at your health radar. Skipping meals sounds like an easy way to shed those pounds, but a new study from Ohio State University says doing that can actually cause weight gain. In addition, researchers found that skipping meals could add to belly fat. Pregnant women, especially those expecting boys, you might want to consult with your doctors before taking painkillers. A new study shows that taking Tylenol during pregnancy can lower testosterone levels in unborn sons. Researchers at the University of Texas say coffee can perk up more than just your energy. A new study shows that men who drink two cups of coffee a day are less likely to develop erectile dysfunction. Coffee can even help men who are at risk due to high blood pressure or obesity. Many of us will be enjoying some sun during this Memorial Day weekend, but a new study finds that most of us in America skip the sunscreen. That's dangerous because more than 3 million people will develop skin cancer this year alone. A behavioral scientist at CDC says women are more likely to wear sunscreen on their face because of the anti-aging benefits. Do you wear sunscreen? Every single day. Do you really? Every day I've already Good. had uh, precancerous lesions removed from my body. Never wore it wow. as a kid. My mom has had a big issue uh, with skin cancer. Uh, she's redhead and pale skin. Yeah, and my mother too. You cannot play around with that no. stuff. So always wear sunscreen, kids. Talk to your doctor first. <laughs> no. Little disclaimer. Thank always you. talk to your doctor. Wear sunscreen. Yes. Let's turn our attention to our rehash segment. We wanted to bring up uh, the social media issue with the president joining Twitter this week. And it was a great back and forth. We want to talk mm -hmm. a little bit more about it between President Obama and President Clinton. Yes, on Monday, he put out his first tweet. There you go. He said, hello, Twitter. It's Barack. Really? Six years in. And they're finally giving, he didn't say finally, but they're giving me my own account. This message has been retweeted more than 280,000 times. Not bad, Mr. President. Yes, but Bill Clinton welcomed the president to Twitter with his own message. He asked the president if the Twitter handle, at POTUS, says, with, or stays with the office, and then hashtag asking for a friend, that friend, of course, being Hillary, probably meaning his wife, as we know. We all, she's going to run for president or is running for president. She desperately wants that POTUS handle. I'm pretty sure she does. President Obama responded to uh, Clinton's tweet saying, good question at Bill Clinton. The handle comes with the House. Know anyone interested in at FLOTUS? Yeah, that's the handle that's been used by Michelle Obama for some time. And Bill Clinton, I doubt he would use the First Lady's Twitter handle, so it might have to stay dormant for a term or two if dormant. Hillary does actually yes. win the White House. Speaking of Hillary, she's got a new social media presence today as well. She is now mm -hmm. on LinkedIn. Hillary Clinton has an account up there because, she's like a lot of people out there, she's looking for a new job. She posted an article about her account yesterday. Uh, it's also called Four Ways to Jumpstart Small Business. In the article, Mrs. Clinton writes that, quote, it's still too hard to get a business started today. Hard work is no longer enough to guarantee opportunity. Credit is too tough to come by. Too many regulatory and licensing requirements, uneven and uncertain. Hillary laid out four fixes to these problems. Clinton also trying to portray herself as a small business candidate. Everybody's getting on that social media bandwagon. Uh, interesting candidates. to note, though, if you look at Hillary Clinton's LinkedIn, I'm going to try to connect with Mrs. Clinton. Maybe Are can, you? Maybe I, you know, I want to talk to her. We all want to talk to her. What would you ask her? I mean, the first. Why question. is she running for president? Why is she running for president? I well, really want. It doesn't. That's creative. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I mean. No, that's an obvious question, of course, right? Well, other than the fact that it's her time, I don't. I still going back to her, her campaign announcement. I still have not heard her articulate a message about why she really thinks she is the best person to carry this nation forward for four years. We'll keep you posted if uh, she responds. To Fingers crossed. There Mrs. we go. Penn. All right. <laughs> Um, but she, she did not mention on her resume uh -huh. her past experience as a presidential candidate, leaving that part off. And we were talking about that clip from Mark Heilman from Bloomberg News. Well, you asking, don't want to go on and on with your resume. I'm just kidding. But she, she also included a lot of other stuff from her, prior, from her history. Um, and Mark Heilman asking about her accomplishments as Secretary of State. Not going to put any mention of Mohammed Morsi in Egypt in there. You're not going to put any reference to Benghazi in there. Um, I'll check it out, see if I get a return. Right. response from keep, Mrs. Clinton Keep us posted today. on that. Well, uh, today is also a big day because it's also Red Nose Day. It's an event that started in the UK to raise money for children in poverty. Maybe you've seen all these people walking around with the red noses. To date, the charity has raised more than a billion dollars in donations. Not bad. Lots of stars are getting in on all the action. Celebrities and regular Joes alike have been posting pictures of themselves on Twitter along with their red clown noses. Take a look. 
Ah, you like that? <laughs> Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer gets in on the action, tweeting this picture of himself with the red nose, wishing everyone a very happy Red Nose Day. Uh, the former mayor of Cincinnati. There also uh -huh. Hoda and Kathy Lee Gifford for the Today Show showing off their red noses. Where's Kathy Lee's red nose? Hoda's I, got I one. I think on. someone mm -hmm. took it. Troy took it. I yeah. think. All right. Go ahead, Miranda. Okay, and sports stars are participating in the festivities, too. Here's a tweet showing Shaquille O'Neal with his red nose. Last week, Shaq donned his red nose and drove an ice cream truck to raise awareness for the cause. That's cute. I would have liked to I see like that. that. And there's some Colts cheerleaders, Indianapolis Colts cheerleaders. I would love to see Shaq show up on my neighborhood street selling popsicles with a red nose. That'd yeah? Interesting. Ice cream man. Okay. I'm trying to just sing a song. Go ahead, Miranda. Sing no, no, no. I, I want to. Oh, the commercial break's coming that. up. You're yeah. Lucky. Oh, darn. Sorry.